What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another collaboration video. That's right, since the highly anticipated Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is being released in theaters next week, which I'm so freaking excited about, I had to do a special collaboration with a guy I've been following for a while and have a lot of respect for. We're going to be reviewing the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Before we get started with this review though, I gotta introduce him. His name's Darnell Ingram from the Nezzy channel. Darnell, introduce yourself and tell us about yourself. Thanks for having me around, O'Toole, my man. It's your boy Darnezzy from the Nezzy channel and I'm here with my good friend Ryan to review Guardian of the Galaxy, the very first one that came out way back in 2014. It was an amazing movie, I left the shit out of it. And yeah, we're just gonna talk about this movie with you guys and just talk about the good, the bad, pros and cons, what we like about it, what we're hyped about it for. And let's just let's get into it. Ryan, take it away. Hey, we gotta start off the summer movie season with a Marvel movie, right? <laughs> Why not start with Guardians? <laughs> so yes, guys, we are reviewing the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Of course, this review is spoiler-filled. If you've not seen this movie yet, what the hell is wrong with you? We are going to spoil the shit out of this movie. So be aware of that. I'm sure you guys already knew that. So, without further ado, here is our review for the first Guardians of the Galaxy, which is directed by the man himself, James Gunn. And it stars an all-star cast like Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel, and so much others. So, the plot to Guardians of the Galaxy, it's about a group of Ravagers who call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy, and their leader, Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, played by Chris Pratt, he's just a human being. He gets abducted by these Ravager aliens. As you know, his mother dies of cancer, and he was just abducted. And he meets these other people, such as Gamora, Rocket Raccoon, Groot and Drax the Destroyer and they're there to take on this big bad villain named Ronan the Accuser who is ordered by Thanos to retrieve the orb and so are a bunch of other people. The orb is one of the Infinity Stones and the Guardians of the Galaxy have to get the orb before Ronan does. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sure you guys already know that. It's one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. And it was such a surprise hit coming from Marvel, from a group that's none of the Avengers. And this movie just blew me away when I first saw it in the theater. Darnell, why don't you tell about your experience when you first saw Guardians of the Galaxy? My experience with the movie was crazy because I remember way back in 2014, you know, after Winter Soldier, I was just like, yeah, Marvel can't do no wrong. Winter Soldier's going to be awesome. And now we got Guardians of the Galaxy that was coming out, and I was just like... Who, who the hell are the Guardians of the Galaxy? So, you know, I gave it a chance. Trailers look pretty good. Trailers were like, okay, this is this is different. It, it could work. Go see the movie in August in IMAX. Walked out of it. I was just like, shit. A movie about a talking tree and a talking raccoon would actually be pretty freaking awesome. That was amazing. I loved it. Yeah, that was my experience too. And 2014 was such a great year for comic book movies. You had that, Captain America the Winter Soldier, and X-Men Days of Future Past. And then there's that other movie, Amazing Spider-Man 2, which we're not going to even talk about. Darnell and I have a lot of thoughts on this movie. First, let's start with the positives. The first positive of I have is the performances. The performances in this movie are fantastic. I mean, these are such likable actors. Chris Pratt is amazing as Star-Lord. He's so funny. And his character, yeah, is very similar to Han Solo or Indiana Jones. But still, Chris Pratt is one of the funniest actors working today. And you also had Zoe Zaldana, who was great as Gamora. Dave Bautista as Drax. But guys, my favorite characters in this movie were by far Rocket and Groot, voiced by Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel. These two characters stole the entire show. A talking tree and a talking raccoon. I mean, 
How can you beat that? It had great humor, good dialogue, good heart. It was visually the best Marvel movie I had ever seen to date. There was not a lot not to like about the movie at all. It was just pretty enjoyable all around. I had a great time with it. I enjoyed the shit out of it. That's why I gave it a positive review on my channel. It was awesome. And some of that managed. I had a great time with Guardian of the Galaxy. My experience with it was amazingly good. Exactly. And the director. I can't forget about James Gunn. I mean, this guy wrote a Scooby-Doo movie, and now he's directing this movie. He had a hard job to do. He had to make these characters lovable. Unknown comic book characters, and he brought them to life and made them lovable with just one movie. And so, I gotta give credit to James Gunn in his direction, and I'm excited he's directing the sequel. You mentioned the action sequences in the movie. The action in this movie is fantastic. I mean, it's Star Wars in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's awesome. One action scene, it's probably my favorite, it's the prison scene, when they're in prison. It's so funny, I love that action scene. You also had the battle on Planet Nowhere, that was pretty fun also. And you also had the final battle on Xandar. It, again, it's Star Wars action that I just love. And Star Wars is my favorite movie franchise of all time. It was just eye candy to watch. Like I said, visually it was the most incredible Marvel movie I have seen this date with the space battles and the prison scene. It was just awesomely great and it was, I just loved it. It was good, man. It was awesome. Another thing we'll point out real quick that was also really good in the movie that you're gonna like expect in Guardian of the Galaxy 2. Probably just like forget about it. You probably forgot about it, but this is a thing in the first one. But the soundtrack in the movie, the soundtrack was pretty awesome. It was great. It had some Jackson 5 in it. It was good shit. So the soundtrack in the movie, another positive I took away from it. It was just good. It was great. Yeah, I agree Darnell. It's one of my favorite movie soundtracks of all time. Time. I just love it. This is by far the funniest Marvel movie to date besides Ant-Man. Every joke in this movie I laughed my ass off and that comes from all the characters except maybe Gamora but yeah all the characters are so funny. The comedic chemistry between this group is awesome. James Gunn knows his humor extremely well and it really did work for this movie. It also had some great heart to it. Some great emotions in there. I, I love the opening scene in the movie where young Peter's watching his mother die of cancer. That was pretty hard to watch. And also, Groot's death. Yeah, Groot's death's really sad. We are Groot. It hits me every time. Yeah. And also, when Peter saves Gamora, some really great music in there. And that all comes from the score of the movie. It, it gives you the feels. And it's just. It works because you care about the characters in this movie. The only negative I took away with the movie was the fact that, yeah, the Ronin the Accuser was pretty, you know, typical Marvel bad guy. The good guy's got to take out, and that's that. Uh, he wasn't really fleshed out. Really don't give two shits about him. You just pretty much know that, yeah, he's just a bad blue dude who wants to just wipe out the universe, just like the other 35 people that had done it before. Um, I wish he was more fleshed out, but then again, at the... At that point in time, it was pretty much part of the quirk. We pretty much know when you go into a Marvel movie, you know you're gonna get an awesome movie, but they're just the villains are just their Achilles heel. You just can't do villains right for some reason. And me personally, Loki is amazing. I, I personally love Ultron. I don't care what nobody says. No, there are no strings on me. I, mean, I don't care. I love that line. Um, but as far as villains go in the MCU, the villains have been getting a bit better kind of depending on how you felt about you know what was the name again of civil war or baron zemo yeah that dude as far as negatives with the movie i really only had one and of course it's the villain ronin the accuser again he wasn't fleshed out like every marvel villain has been he seemed like a villain with huge potential we see him kill that one zandarian at the beginning and just this whole he's a cliche villain who just wants the MacGuffin, the orb and his character really didn't have that much moments to shine and to find him intimidating. And yeah, he was by far the biggest problem I had. Also, Thanos appears in this movie for a brief cameo. And I just wish I would see more Thanos be in these movies. Like, of course they're setting him up to Infinity War. Just, that's the only movie we really get to see Thanos. And yeah, all he does is sit in a chair. That's all my... Uh, negatives with this movie. Overall, guys, I freaking love this movie. I've seen, seen it more than 10 times. That's how much I love it. Great performances, great 
fantastic soundtrack. Just one of the best Marvel movies and comic book movies we've had to date. And I'm so freaking excited for Volume 2. I can't even explain. Yeah, Nezzy, what are your final thoughts for Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, Ryan, at the end of the day, I got so happy to agree with you that Guardians of the Galaxy is definitely one of the best Marvel movies we've had to date. It is still my one of my personal all-time favorites. I ranked it number three in my top ten best movies of 2014. It was awesome. It was great. The characters were great. The emotion was good. The action was just amazing. The visuals were just incredible. And what it does for the MCU as far as opening up the bigger cosmic side of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that was Good. At least the bigger, better things are just all gonna pay off when we see Infinity War next year when the Guardians meet the Avengers and it's just, it's going to be heaven. I mean, so overall, like I said, I just love the movie, man. So overall, guys, Guardians of the Galaxy absolutely gets a five out of five stars for me. By far one of my favorite Marvel movies and one of the best comic book movies in my opinion. I'm also gonna agree with you. My personal rating for this movie is the same as it was back in 2014, and that is Guardian of the Galaxy is indeed a 10 out of 10, which is fucking awesome. All right, guys, that was our collaboration review for Guardians of the Galaxy. Let us know your guys' thoughts on the movie down below. Did you love it? Thought it was okay or absolutely hate it? Let us know down below. And before we close off the video, I have to thank my special guest, Darnell, aka the Nezzy channel, for do joining me on this collaboration. And Darnell, real quick, tell my subscribers where we can find you on social media. Again, thank you for having me, Ryan. I love the shit out of your channel. You know, I always comment you and watch your videos, stuff like that. I'd be watching it and I'd be entertained. And it was an honor doing this with you, man. I had a good time. And if for you, his fans, if you want to see my face again, you like how I talk and you just like how I just talk about movies and other crazy shit, subscribe to my channel, the Neezy channel right here. You can, links in the description below. And yeah. And also follow me on Twitter at Black Neezy. I'd be tweeting at you guys. Anybody who follows me, you know, I always comment back and you just tweet to me like, I left your shit. Or you can be like, you're a shithead and I hate you. It's all welcome, good, bad, it's all welcome. I do it for you guys because I love you guys. I love all of you. And thank you, Ryan. I had a great time with this. I can't wait to do this again. The summer movie scene is about to kick off with Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 2. It comes out next Friday. I hopefully are going to see it on Monday. I have a review for you guys on Monday, and we're just gonna rock out. We're just gonna do it. Guardian of the Galaxy, Spider Man, Wonder Woman, Transformer. Who gives a shit? It's just gonna be crazy movie madness, and we're all gonna fucking love it. More for the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> So many movies. Again, thanks for having me, Ryan. You are amazing, man. And yes, your fans are amazing, too. Oh, I loved it. Thanks you for having me. Thank you, as always, for watching this collaboration. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!